All right, so you clearly wanna finish up this project, which is why you clicked part three. This is the final video of this three part series. So I'll open up the final project right here and you can see what we're going to be working on is when we hover on these links, it sort of tilts and when we hover on the city, it corresponds and it shows a city of whatever ones we have listed. So this is Dallas and it gives you that pan effect. If we hover on San Francisco, it switches to an image of San Francisco. So these are just showing us the different offices that we supposedly have at Hamburg Co. Is that what I'm going to call it? Hamburg is just hamburger. I don't know. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and work on that. We can close localhost 3000 and we can go back home for our localhost 3001, which is the project we're working on. Let's get back into the code. And if we open up our images, we already have all of the images listed out, which is pretty cool. If you did get the starter files from my repo, you should have these images. If not, you can just add it in and you can use whatever images you want. Now, the first thing I want to do is we need to import all those images in. So let's go ahead and import Dallas from, we can just say images forward slash Dallas dot WebP. You can then copy Dallas and paste it in three more times. Or is that, yeah, that's four more times. Switch this to Austin. This is going to be New York. And I think I'm just gonna fast forward this. All right, so I ended up just cutting the video and I've imported all the imports or the images that we need. Next, I'm going to do an array called cities. And this array is going to have a list of all the city's names um, and as well as displaying their images. The first one's going to have a name of Dallas and its image property is going to represent the image we imported. So it's just going to be Dallas. Let's add a comma and we can copy and paste this just like what we did to our images. Go ahead and copy and paste that. And we can just place in Austin here, New York, I'm probably gonna cut this too. Actually, no, I'm sticking with it. And these images right here are going to need to be exactly the same as the imports. So Austin's going to be all lowercase, same to New York without space, and same for San Francisco and Beijing. We've got that working. Let's save this and scroll all the way down to where we have our locations. We can get rid of the Dallas, Austin, New York, San Francisco, Beijing span tags. And in here, we're going to do a cities dot map. And then L for element. And then we can return a span. So it's going to be span. And inside the span, it's going to be L dot name for the content or the name of the city. And then the key is going to be L dot name. Every time you use map, it's going to require you to use key. And now we need to do on mouse enter. So when we hover over, we need to run a certain function to change the background and on mouse out. When we hover off the city, we want it to run another function to change the background back to its original, which is red. So let's scroll up and define those functions. What we could do is define handle city. So const handle sheesh handle city it's going to take in city and the city will always change depending on which item we hovered so gsap.2 and what we're changing is the city background we are setting the duration to zero so the first animation that's going to run isn't really going to be much of an animation but it's just setting the background to whatever background city is going to be. So if we hover on Dallas, city is going to have the Dallas image here and it's going to set the background to Dallas. If we hover on Austin, city is going to represent the Austin image. So background, set this to, make sure you add template literals. We're going to set URL and then it's going to be city and then center, center. All right, leave that like so. Then we want to copy and paste this one more time. So it's going to be another GSEP animation. So GSEP.2, we're using city background. And then duration on this one is going to be 0.4, setting the opacity to one, since the opacity is already set to zero in CSS. And then we're adding an ease. So get rid of this background right here. Ease, power three out. I said out, but let's just do in out. And then save that. And then we're doing a GSEP dot, not to, but dot from. And we're setting the duration to 0.4 switching the skew y to two and we are setting a transform origin 
and set this to right top. Let's go ahead and save this. And this is our handle city. So this is going to handle whatever city we hover on. It's going to animate in. We also need to do another function for when we remove the image. So when we hover off the corresponding city, we want to remove the background image and then set the background back to red. So const handle city, and we can just say return. And this will represent setting the city background uh, back to opacity of zero and hiding it. We could just do gsap. Oh, what is that? Dsap.2. And we're going to target city background again. Every time I say city background or say city real fast, it reminds me of a South Park episode of like shitty walk. Okay. Um, duration is set to 0.4 and the opacity is set to zero. Okay, so these two functions are defined but have not been uh, called yet. To call them in our map right here, we are going to on our mouse enter we're just going to write handle return or the handle city and then on our mouse out we're handling the return so on mouse out we could just do handle city return there's a lot of construction outside so i'm sorry if that disrupts the audio but we're going to power through so on mouse out we're running handle city return on mouse enter we are going to do handle city and we're going to write l dot image so this will get us the image um, of whatever item we hover on. So if we hover on Austin, this will represent Austin image, Dallas will represent Dallas image, and so on. So let's save this and let's see if it works. Let's open up menu. And if we hover on Beijing, we get an error. And the error is it cannot add property GSAP objects not extensible. What's the second? Okay, so this is not a good error because it doesn't really define. Okay, here we go. GSAP.2 city background on mouse enter. All right, so the reason we're getting that error is because I did not define what the city background represents. We want the city background to represent this menu city background. To do that, we need to set ref, not ll, it's gonna to be to city backgrounds l. So city background will then represent this menu city background div, which we defined up here, but we never assigned it to anything. So it was always null, meaning when we hovered on our, uh, city it was giving us an error because we aren't defining or we haven't defined city background so now if we hover on new york we could see it works austin works dallas works everything's working and everything looks great and might i say look how pretty dallas looks i live in dallas and i didn't think it would look this pretty um yeah i mean it, it, it looks it looks awesome i live i live underneath where it says the end somewhere there anyway um it looks great and everything, right? But we haven't added the little panning animation and the panning animation is nothing complex. It's just simple CSS. If we jump into our CSS file and if we go to menu city background, first we want to put the background size. I'm going to put BC, background color or BS. I want to put background size. First we want to put the background size to cover. So let's go ahead and do that. Next we want to put the background repeat. Okay, can I put B, K, R, B, R, background repeat, no repeat. And then we want to define an animation which we'll do just in a sec, but we can just say animation. So name, duration, timing, delay, inter, uh, iteration count, direction, fill mode, we'll, we'll write all that here. So the animation name, we'll just say um, camera pan. The duration, we're going to set the duration to 30 seconds. Timing function, we don't need a timing function, we don't need a delay either. The iteration count, let's do infinite. And direction and fill mode aren't necessary either. We can scroll all the way down and outside of any SAS, we can write the keyframes. We can do at keyframes. And we could call this camera pan, which we defined up there. And at 0%, we want the background position. I'm gonna do PV. Yes, background position. We want it at zero, zero. So go ahead and do zero percent. And we can do zero. At 25%, we want the background position to be set at 40% and 10%. I am going to then copy just the 25% and paste it in for 50%, then paste it in for 75 and 100%. 
So the next one we're working with is 50%. Go ahead and change the background position to zero and 10%. And then for 75%, go ahead and change the background to 10% and 40%. And you can play with these just, it's up to your liking. Finally, the last one is 100% and change that back to zero, zero. Let's go ahead and save that. And if we jump back into our project, open up menu. And if we hover on Dallas, we can see the camera is just moving. Uh, one more thing that I wanted to know is when you're adding background images, make sure you add background images large enough because for example, the Austin one is starting to repeat, even though I specified it not to repeat. Um, we could probably fix that by just fixing the, the height and the width and, and fixing it there. But honestly, if you just add like an image large enough, it shouldn't do that. Okay, so that's gonna do it for our uh, cities or the images for our cities. We are going to do this little tilt effect on hover and that should conclude this video. So if we click contact us and we'll just leave it there. Let's go back into our project, get rid of the SAS file and work on the hover effect. We can create the hover functions by defining const handle hover and we can just set E and this is going to allow us to get access of the target that we're hovering on. And we can then copy this one more time and for handle hover, we can just say handle hover exit. And honestly, um, like I said before in the previous videos, when handling with animations, I do recommend just to create like an animations file that you could just store all your animations in there because it kind of just gets annoying of having to scroll through all the animations. Uh, very similar to styles components, go ahead and add them to a different file and then use uh, destructuring to pull them in uh, for all the animations that you need for each specific uh, file, for each specific component. So the const handle hover is going to have gsap.2 and we're going to do e.target. So e is just going to represent our event. So event.target and the configurations we're passing in is going to be a duration of 0.3. The y is going to be set to three. The skew, we're setting that to four. So it's not going to be skew y, but actually skew x. And then finally, we are using an ease of power three and out. Let's save that and we can copy the GSAP and put it into our handle hover exit. The only thing we're changing is the Y set that to negative three and the skew X set that to zero. We can save that and go all the way down to our links. You can also store these links um, into its individual routes. So um, similar to what we did for our cities array, you could store them all the way up there and then just render them out. But in our case, we're just gonna leave it like so. So our first link, what we're going to do is we're going to pass in on mouse enter, similar to what we did to our cities. Now our on mouse enter is going to have a function of e handle hover, and we're passing in e for our event. And we can copy the on mouse enter and switch to on mouse out. And the handle hover will be called handle hover exit, and we can save that. So if we open up our menu, if we hover on opportunities, it will give you that effect of it tilting. Solutions and contact us doesn't do that. That's because we only assigned uh, the on mouse enter and on mouse out to the opportunities link. We can do it for the other ones just simply by copying and pasting them in its attributes. And now when we open up the menu and hover on them, they all have that little tilt effect. The city still work, which is cool. Other than that, I don't really see anything else I may have missed. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like. This was the third and final part of creating a really awesome menu in GSAP, React, and React Router. So all of it comes together just to create this really nice and seamless menu. If we click the logo, it takes us back to the homepage, and that is going to do it for me. I might reference this project back in terms of creating scroll animations. So we might build upon this little Hamburg agency that we're building together. So look out for that. If you did enjoy this video, leave a like. That's gonna do it for me guys, have a wonderful day.